Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. Well, I done moved. I'm in a dock. They're unloading me. Said it'd take about 45 minutes to an hour. Now instead of the sun coming right in my face, it's over yonder killing me. Seen I had a new subscriber. Watched my video this morning, said that lesson one. Welcome. Welcome to all the other new subscribers. I appreciate y'all. Do me a favor, hit the like button. Share with your friends, share on your wall. Share the word of Papa Joe. Oh, uh, now the only reason I decided to make this video is, uh, I told you yesterday that uh, this load was supposed to be heavy and it came off of a ship, two different shipments. That's why I had two bill of lading and they did add up to 45,000, which bad math, that wasn't working. Now they loaded this all the way to the back doors and any driver that pays attention, they can tell you that you try to put your tandems at the end of the load. Meaning if the pallets stop here, you want your mud flap bracket right in that area. Now that's gonna do two things. One, it's going to help make you legal. If they loaded it right and you got your mud flat bracket right in that area, you should be legal. A hole up or a hole back, you know, or two, you know. Uh, preferably a little bit back. Now, what that will do is that will give you a smoother ride. The longer the unit is stretched out, the smoother your ride. If you can do that without breaking the bridge law, if you're going through one of the states that play the bridge law nonsense still. Uh, what it also does is anything that is behind them tandems. Here's your tandems. Here's your trailer. Anything behind them over here, this stuff is doing this. Because this is a, 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 I lost my word. Anyway, it makes a bounce. So anything behind your tandems is subject to bouncing. Just natural physics and knowing your trailer and knowing how trucking works. Now this load that I picked up, it was loaded to the doors. Hold on a second. All right, sorry about that. But this load was loaded to the doors. The main reason that I'm making this was because of the conversation I had with this young lady. Her husband drives for USA Trucking. And I teased her for a second. I told her, I'm sorry. She says, I hear that a lot. <laughs> well, <laughs> that ought to tell you something. So we came out. They wanted to check my seal. I spun around, and she's getting antsy. Won't wait. I get lined up with my door, with my dock. I get as close as I can because there's a bunch of uh, stacks of pallets over here. So I'm forward just enough to open my doors. So when I set my brake, she goes on over, and she checks my seal. And she's going to walk away and tell me, your seal's good. I cut it. And I said, hold on. I said, I want you out here when I open these doors. I said, I seen how this was loaded. Which the ones they put in the back were the shorter pallets. So it did not turn out to be an issue. So I opened the doors. And she said, well, it looks good. She says, we had one that he couldn't even open the door. Because it was falling back. He must have hit the brakes awful hard. And I said, really? 
if he hit the brakes hard, it would lean forward. And there's not too many big trucks out here that can take off fast enough from a dead stop to lean that freight backwards. Uh, the chances are he was loaded to the doors, obviously, and it was past the fulcrum point where the tandems were, and that trailer was doing this. Well, that load is doing this. And with the, especially with a light load like these, yeah, it gently fell backwards. But the point is, is that uh, if you're picking up a load that you think might be an issue, uh, then you might want to videotape it. I might should have videotaped this. I mean, back in the day, it was all taking pictures. So you could take a picture. I probably should have taken a picture of this one. I know better. And I knew when I was closing the doors that this is a potential problem. But I was lazy. I actually, I didn't think about it. But uh, it's something you might want to think about. I'm going to try to remember it. In this day and age of cell phones and all that nonsense, it's not that hard to shoot a quick video of it. Shoot a quick video before you close the doors. Then shoot a video when you go to open it. Have that camera handy. Now, a lot of us know from back in the chicken hauling days. Uh, the chicken hauler. No, we didn't haul live chickens. Uh, but we hauled reefer units. That's what they used to call the reefer units. Chicken truck. Uh... We all knew that you never stand directly in front of a door when you go to open it. Uh, you can stand there and you go to bring the lever up and all that, the handle up. But when you go to pull that handle to actually release that door, you need to be standing over to the side. It would not be the first time that the freight fell out of the back of a truck and hurt somebody. And or killed somebody, I'm sure. No, I don't know of anybody getting killed. But I guarantee you if there was a sky-high load of a pallet of canned goods there, and you open the door and they're falling from eight foot up, and a roll of them hit you, that would hurt. It could do some real serious damage. But uh, just use a little caution when you go opening them doors. Uh, especially if you didn't load it. Now, if you loaded it like I did this one, you should have had a half a clue. Just like I knew that these were small pallets on the back. And there wasn't much chance of anything hurting me. Yeah, I might fell out and hit the ground, but... Because I ain't going to try to catch a shit. I'm going to just step back and let it fall. But uh, the whole point is, is now this young lady, she works at a, go away. Thank you. She works here at a trucking place. She's a receiver. Her husband is a trucker. And she had the wrong idea of why freight would be hanging out the back. Really? Why it might fall out the back. Really? That's why it's spread around the country. So you need to make sure that you know. You need to make sure that you document anything questionable. Just a little video. One of them things that uh, happened to me and I wanted to share with you. It is a good lesson. Y'all have a blessed day. To all the new subscribers, thank you. Welcome. Glad to have you. Hope you enjoy the videos. Go back into the archives. There's a whole bunch back there in the archives. Uh, if you look at the libraries or video playlist, whatever they call it, they're pretty well named, you know.
something trucking, something preaching, something cooking, something, something. Y'all have a blessed day. Being on board this morning, I've done did all my paperwork. I'm in the dock. I got time to kill. I might haunt you with another video if I think of something to say. Y'all have a blessed day now. Remember, God loves you. So do I. Bye.